Minecraft and you think over to Grimble Walkthroughs Gameplay Video or uh, to Dirtwine Unboxes! To Dirtwine Unboxes! A bunch of Victory at Sea stuff! Oh, and I just realized my son is Thor, or vice versa. And the Schwan and I wanted to record today, but um, we'll see how far I can record my sore throat, which has been sore for a year now. Um, but you can't really tell me on that because I think you got the death on you. So you didn't hear that. But anyway. And I think it's mostly just sinus drainage and just more common stuff than the death. But anyway, so yeah. Um, how many ships are we unboxing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many third party ships are we unboxing? One, two, three, four, free sample. And also rule book. Yeah, that's a, that's uh, let's get started. So basically what I was going for, this is a this is a get 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 yourself started without using the starter set box if you just want to play with the capital ships to play with the capital ships I'm crying out loud and buy the rule book. That's all you need to do. But anyway. So yeah, I guess let's get started. Actually, yeah, let's get started with the Missouri. Actually, let's get started with, with what's on top of the Missouri. The Montana. Montana. Which is by far the biggest ship here. Now, the third party ships are all to scale. They're all by XP Gaming on and let's see. Uh, just look up Victory 8 Sea Ships and you'll find these guys. Um, I only really would support them with ships that aren't in production by uh, Warlord Games. However, if you do want, if you already have a ship of the, if you only, if you already have a ship, uh, getting a third party one isn't that bad of an idea because you already supported uh, Warlord Games and they're half the cost. And, you know, they, they look, they look like they're As you can see, they look like they're half the cost and half the ship. But by far, as you can see by, I, if it's like on the Missouri box, all the boxes are the same length, width, height, whatever. And the Missouri, I mean, and the Montana is as big as the box. So they couldn't really make the Montana, at least not without making a big box. And they already got the sewer battleship, the Yamato, or as I say, Yamato, <laughs> Yamamoto, which is a completely different name. Um, they're both Japanese names, they're both names, but Yamamoto is, uh, uh, is, like, Yamato, but more. But anyway, it's my first time unboxing the, or touching, that's uh, warped. I mean, I, I, you're seeing it on, you're seeing it on, it's really smooth, too. Now, I got these in gray and like, the rest of the, like, the rest of the ships. Is that gonna sit flat? No. Okay, that's fine. Like, you're seeing it warp because, you know, you're seeing it through an ultra wide lens. But I really like it. The detail is good enough for me. And it gives you the idea of the ship. You just kind of know the skill. Oh, man. Now, let's compare it with another ship. Right. And I got the card out because Kevin card out's nice. Now, because my supplies still haven't arrived from England, which that's the last time I order supplies from Element Games, that was a not a good decision. Um, I mean, people, you know, people, uh, YouTubers are sponsored by Element games and use them which I honestly believe they do use them however they still haven't got my stuff yet and how many shipments of freaking miniature market have I gone so far in the span of in the span that's uh, taken uh, that's taken that's taken that it's taken uh how many games to get my stuff in like this is like four shipments of stuff from Etsy and from Etsy and and Miniature Market. You know, the first part of stuff's from 
miniature market, the, the rest is from Etsy. Oh, wow, carriers are big. Carriers are big. Again, this is the same scale. And as you can see, the Yorktown class carrier, which was the biggest of the war, is, if we were to be nice, is as big, okay, let's go, I'll put you into a infinite, uh, is, as, is almost as long as the Montana, the Montana. How about the South Dakota? South Dakota. And this is why I wanted to do all this at once. I could have done it weeks ago, but I, just, I decided not to because I wanted to do it all at once. Silly me. Uh, so much works, so much works. This is the South Dakota, as I've been calling it. Now these two are, now these two are Basically, the last battleships that the United States were battleships that were planned to be built, but the, but the United States gave up on battleships after well, Enterprise did Enterprise things and the rest is history. Which, by the way, battleships aren't obsolete. Battleships as a concept aren't obsolescent. Heck, swords aren't obsolescent. E aren't obsolete either. If you take a sword to a guy in modern day armor. He's going to die when you cut off his head. In close quarter combat, it's just going to happen. People take tomahawks into war zones and win. We call them Marines. <laughs> um, tomahawk is an is a American Indian hand axe, by the way. Hand axe pick thing. And, or you know, hand battle axe and pick thing. And, you know, it's a melee weapon. And it's working just fine in modern day. And the reason why battleships were, and pretty much all, atol all artillery ships were put out of service is because the evolution of missiles and planes having so much range that you can't, that guns couldn't get much range. However, there is a thing about guns that missiles and planes can't match. Planes beat it halfway, meet them halfway. But guns are cheap. You build an expensive gun, and then you fire cheap things out of it. Build an expensive launcher, fire expensive ammo. Build an expensive platform, fire expensive ammo. <laughs> and and mod, well, build a moderately expensive platform, build, uh, fire moderately expensive ammo out of it, in terms of planes. So battleships are still very relevant to this day. In fact, they've been, they were used up to 1990. It's just we need to equip them with Ram, uh, ramjet shells have the equal range to uh, to a uh, railgun or uh, railguns, and can outfire the Chinese um, ballistic missile, uh, hy hypersonic ballistic missiles, outrange them and uh, outshoot them. But anyway, so the whole myth that battleships as a concept is obsolete is just ridiculous. Money, anyway, that's my little tirade. Okay, so on to Missouri. I mean, like the South Dakota seems small, but we'll get to Yamato in a second. South Dakota was basically, I think Yamato will fit in between them. I'm on like, there we go. What I like about these boxes is they can be faced anywhere. Oh, that's Pacific Camouflage. That other side is just gray. Oh, that's the front. Only in my Yamato dispatched more, uh, dis displaced more than this massive, very, very fast Iowa, Iowa for massive, very, yet very fast Iowa class battleships. The last battleship to be commissioned in the U by the USA, USS Missouri, known as the Mighty Mo, acted as as a venue for the Japanese Surrender War to Iowa's class ships all service fall beyond the Second World War and were upgraded with modern electronics, weapon systems, and cruise missiles. USS Missouri was finally commissioned in 1992 after a distinguished career, like I said. And one of the reasons why it was decommissioned is because of its age. 
bringing it up because of its obsolescence. We still need to explain cheap things of things. Because remember when, you remember some war in the Middle East that took place recently, we, we, we spent, we, we shot, what, a hundred tomahawks, or a thousand tomahawks, and you shoot a thousand tomahawks at a couple thousand each, and you get a million dollars out of it. You get a couple million for how many tomahawks we launched when we could, when the battleship could have done the same thing, for pennies, in comparison. For pennies on a dollar, in comparison. I really like these boxes, they're really well done. All right, now we gotta get the thing. Try not to break the sheeps. But yeah, so me and my grandpa, until we can get the stuff from, until we can get the stuff from Element Games, which by the way, if you want it, if you want to, which by the way, uh, Warlord Games, much like, much like Games Workshop, very, very scarily sim similar to Games Workshop, very scarily similar to Games Workshop, in fact, has most of their stuff available on their website. Miniature Market has a lot of it available, not all of it. Like they don't have the blue, like they don't have the USS Alaska, or Alaska, USS Alaska, which I want because it's Battleship and it's American. Well, I mean, basically, July maybe make a purchase from Warlord Games and get some of the stuff that, for some reason, Miniature Market's not buying. Miniature Market's very much a third-party retailer, as so that it has third-party retail prices, which you would find on eBay half the time. But anyway, for for the stuff they don't get directly from a manufacturer. Also, the problem with getting third-party ships is they don't come with stuff. So you need to make up the stuff. So I'll make up the stuff and then you won't have to make up the stuff. So good, so good. Let's look at cheap. Let's look at cheap. Which, by the way, in case you're wondering, the size for uh, the scale or size for Victory at Sea is 1 800. Or 1,800. There you are. An Iowa class. Man, the resin feels amazing. Third party resin is very tougher and it's not as basic feeling, but it still feels nice. The detail is incredible. Let's zoom in. Or right, let's focus, 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 focus. There we go. Detail is really nice. Iowa class battleship. Ooh, this is my Zura. 19 for the full. Let's pair her up with, uh, let's pair her up with Yorktown. Interesting, okay. Make sure everyone's stern's matching. Yeah, see the Montana and the uh, Montana still longer. Although the Iowa class was pretty beefy, and basically the Montana, if I remember correctly, is supposed to be the beefed up version of the of the Iowa class, whereas the South Dakota was the faster version of the Iowa class. Uh, you can see here. Back first by Becky. Thank you, Becky. Okay, right, so I figured out that that one thing that was bent on the on the Yorktown was just um, screw the battleship guns, smokestack, and superstructure. Yeah. Also, probably yeah, yeah, that's screw. And. Then, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there, and then the middle right there. Actually, let's pick you up. Yeah, you see, you see, yeah, you put it right in the middle. You put it right in the middle. Nice, solid and chunky. Not like exactly what you want in a mini, but, and we're going to put red from Reagan. Although it is a ship game, there's not going to be much movement in a ship game.
Come on, box. Go back together. Go back together, box. There we go. Um, thick sliders. The card. Where is the card? Uh, how to deal with war a warlord risen? I'll, I'll show you another one in this video. <laughs> they all have them. They all have them. And then here's the assembly kit. Oh, okay, you separate these. Two. You separate all of them and put them together that way. Gotcha. And then the camouflage, and then the camouflage, which we're going to be ignoring. Ships in class: Iowa, Missouri, New Jersey, Wisconsin, which I actually seen in New Jersey. Been on in New Jersey. Yeah, I wanted to hold out on air conditioner, but it's been really hot this spring. So yeah, there's gonna be a bit of a conditioner noise from now on. Okay, it has anti-aircraft three deck, uh, armor deck, to beat a belt three. Uh, events belt, hall one, uh, 115 by 38. Flank speed six. Armor 6, so it has double the armor of the Yorktown class, is as fast as Yorktown class, and has double the health as the, as the Yorktown. Point bike is 10 inches. Oh, jeez. Um, shorts 22, long 31, extreme 42, 83. Uh, plus it, 2AP, DD3, heavy. Yeah, I'm totally starting to Playing the game, which you know, play the game and you don't box the things that I, I took me, you know, take me, you know, it'd be like that to extra understand. So I'll be just comparing all these chips together, which is why I have my out. Length 887 feet, despite divide that by three, you get meters. So that's roughly 300 meters long, I want to say. No, 200 something meters long, yeah. Space band, almost 6, 60,000 tons. B-32 knots, that's fast. Even today, that's fast. Commission, 1943, crew, 200, 2,000, Actually, the new Ford class is going back to that number. And then what, basically what we read on the box. Actually, not what we read on the box, that's different. One of the largest battleships ever built, only the USS, only the Japanese Yamato, or Yamamoto as they say, uh, is faced more, based superficially at the Subdecora class. Oh, Subdecora class came first, okay. Iowa class had heavier armor and was 200 feet longer. It was incredibly fast due to increased output from engines, and its greater size allowed it to mount more anti-aircraft guns, making, uh, more, making it a formidable Prospect for attacking planes. Air, air, invariably used as flagships for task forces, the Iowa class was. Can you see this? Yes. Iowa class was supremely equipped to act as as escorts for fast carrier fleets of the Pacific. The Iowa class was superseded by the Montana class, which we have right here. Which would have mounted 12 16 inch guns and displaced 65,000 tons, so 10,000 tons more, more or less. And they were cancelled, however, when it was demonstrated that aircraft were. Uh, when it was demonstrated by aircraft were far more point weapons at sea, and now missiles are. Hypersonic missiles, to be exact, so these guys might come back because. How do you beat hypersonic missile? 
that's launched from land because it's gigantic. Oh, I know. Build a gigantic gun, stick it to a ship, and launch and fire and fire it back at the back at the battery. Um, that that then kind of battery fire with it. And if you're using steel, that's dirt cheap. Or if you're using a hypersonic, or if you're using a ramjet shell, that's still cheap compared to that's still cheaper than compared to hypersonic ballistic missile. And much easier to build <laughs> because most of most of the aiming is going to be done with the uh, is going to be done by the gunner on the ship as opposed to the missile itself. And then the various modifications. Okay. Next up. Next up. Next up. Next up. Yes, we're done with the U.S. forces. Um, yeah, uh, I got one, two, three, four versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -mm. The Montana's big, but uh, man, can it, can it go against a dun dun dun? Can it go against a H-39 or as I call them, the Plan Z ship? Can it go against the Germany super battleship? Mm, yes, kind of. Mm, yes. Oh, whoops. I don't know what we're gonna do when, when we bring out the, um... Oh, look, this one actually has detail. This one has big detail, look at that. This one feels a bit more solid. And the detail's a bit nicer on the Plan Z, but then again, it's bigger. So let's sneak that in. Oh, it's not that much bigger. It's thinner. Actually, it's shorter. And has the, and has less guns too. Does it does have two guns or six. No, it probably, it probably has three guns. So this one shows de three gun detail. That shows just two guns. Well, I might just have two gigantic guns. That's interesting. And let's put you back there. Actually, let's just do this. Now, the Plan Z carrier. Actually, no, that's the plan. Yeah, hold on. Well, let's get one back together. Get all the battleships together. Because we're going to add carriers together now. Plan Z carrier. This is a plan. This is a plan H battleship. It's got a little bendy. My time with it, my bad. I just gotta not make it so bendy or just not care. Let's put it next to the Yorktown. Yorktown's in fact bigger. Plans these were small then. Interesting. Again, everything's supposed to be the same scale. So the Pine Z was pretty small then. Let's bring it back up. Has some guns, two guns, and three guns back there. Which are doubles as some AA guns. Very nice. Next up, let's do the Akagi. Things will be a little iffy now. 
I mean, after we do the Kage, it's going to be nothing but bellships. Actually, 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 let's take the cards. Let's get the cards. Put them right here. Take the boxes, put them to my side. Everything away, all right. Stretch my legs, hop it. Let's get the Akagi. <laughs> Fourteen plus A. Kage was one of Japan's first aircraft carriers. He was initially designed to be quick, converted to a battleship, however, believing aircraft carriers to be the future, she was rebuilt as a dedicated carrier. Akagi fought in both the attack on Pearl Harbor and Battle Midway, where she was ultimately sunk. Man, these things are easy to open. Almost done out of time, be right back. Back. Nice wide base. And I might as well leave the uh, I might as well leave the chefs out because they're gonna be playing with them even though they're not built. Oh that's gigantic. Kagu is huge compared in World War II terms. No, you don't. that to the side. Thank you, Laura. Metal bits, metal bits. Some tools, game off. Oh, thank you. That makes it easier. Smokestack. Think about what's it's uh, these might be braces for the deck. Mm. 
the bridge. Oh, that's two different colors of risen. Okay, this is going to go back in the box. Back in the box. Yes, it's supposed to hold up the front and the back. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, some sprues to clean up on this. As you can see, the only thing that's necessary is just the middle piece. And then this bit has the points on it too. And as you can see, these are two different, this is darker than this one. Let me put this back in the box. Put it back in the box. Just to give you an idea, just I hope that's massive. Remember, that's, <laughs> that was um, that was the leaders of Germany's idea of a super battleship. Yet, uh, Japan Japan started with that, and America just had that. My word, is that a different scale? Has to be. No, that's huge. No way. No, it's one eight thousand, uh, or it's one thousand eight hundred. All right, let me put these two pieces back so I don't lose them, and I get some of them later. Once my tools get here, now. Uh, by the way, it, going back to the element game thing, the only things that, the only things that I'm missing now, I, I used to be missing the primers. I got the primers in. Now I'm just missing the. Uh, now I'm just missing two tools. Um, which I, they need to get back in stock and then I can be happy, but yeah, it's weird. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Which, to be fair, to be fair, um, miniature markets the exact same way. Miniature mar markets the exact same way. They won't, ship you, they won't ship your order until everything is, uh, everything's in it. Which is why you don't. Uh, which is why you should put your pre-orders on the same order as the things you actually want right now. Um, but even then, it, it takes less time. Oh, it's the shorter one that goes up front. Okay, longer one in back. Gotcha. But man, if I intend this to be one big video, which I kind of do right now, the, the title's gonna be fun, but you already know what the title is. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna have to like put first and third party battleships and carriers. Battleships and carriers, basically what, I, what I'm gonna have to do. US and access carriers. That's what I'm gonna do. Basically, basically what I'm gonna have to do. For victory, I'd say. And give a top down version of that lineup. And the rulebook.
six, three armor, 80, oh, it's more healthier than, uh, has more health than, uh, than the New York town. 60, uh, 86 hull, 28, uh, 86 by 28 hull, carrier of torpedo belt 2, 17 flights. A hundred fifty-five feet again, like around two hundred. Yeah, it's supposed to. It's supposed to be huge. It's supposed to be huge. The displacement, just over forty thousand tons. Speed thirty-one knots again, fast. Crew two thousand. Commission nineteen twenty-seven. Where she laid down as an Amagi class battle cruiser. The stipulations of the Washington Washington Treaty resulted in her conversion to an aircraft carrier. As a result, Kagi was one of Japan's first large aircraft carriers. Akagi and her sister Kaga. Straddled the line between carrier and dreadnought to keep both options open. Ships were designed to quickly convert to capital ships and their turret bar uh, barbettes, magazines, and other equipment to support big gun turrets and wooden flight deck hang hangar deck were designed to be quickly shipped off, making room for turrets to be mounted. However, by the mid 30s, Admirals believed aircraft carriers to be equal of uh, a capital ship, and Akagi was. Extensively rebuilt to improve aircraft handling cap capability, ending the possibility to later recovery into a capital ship. Or into an artillery ship. To be PC, to be PC. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going at a pretty good pace. Kind of, it's been 30 minutes. Um, it's been 40 minutes, my bad. Uh, scratch your ear, take a break. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, let's get back to it. Hmm. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do. We'll save your model for later. Let's do the Italian. My only Italian. Because I wanted to see what stats were, because I hear the Italians are the fast battleships. The uh, Viotio and Vinto. Viotio Vinto. More or less. More or less. Probably not at all. Probably not at all. Fast, well armed, and good looking. You know, the motto class of battleship served the Regiment Marine X, the Italian Navy, ex or the uh, fascist Italian Navy at least, extensively during the Second World War. And the second ship of her class, in her class, uh, Vito Vinetta, after the decisive Italian World War I victory, because they were on, a, they were on the good side, um, saw relentless action taking part in several key battles in the Mediterranean and heavily battled and heavily damaged on occasions. Although scrapped in 1948, her guns would see action in the Yugoslavia and coastal batteries in the 1990s. Oh, jeez. Okay. And that's an Italian battleship. Yamato was just a fluke, and then these two were just a fluke. Like, all these, like, the three here are the guys who were flukes. Mainly because they didn't know how to use them well, whereas apparently the Italians and Americans did. Because, you know, they didn't sink yet. They did. Another big base. Oh, you're big! You're big! You're big! How big are you? Why did I close that? Why did I close that?
the Coyote, and Riding A. Superstructure. And the guns. Oh! Oh, saved by the change machine. Nope, no it didn't. Nope, wasn't saved. It was not saved. Save it. Save the other save. Oh, box fail. Everything's falling. Put that for me. Ah, everything's falling. Ah, literally everything's falling. In box. And thank you, Simonia. My word, so much stuff. Okay, you go here. Just being sure that, just to let you know, it's in the box. It's in the box. Also, the literal Roma, Roma Victory, uh, Vic, uh, Victoro Vintio and Puro, never completed. Leto class was, was the first new time battleship class for nearly a decade when design work began in 1930. Initially designed to remain within the 35,000 ton wash naval limit, the final displacement was over 40,000 tons. As well as being good looking ships, the littoral class included a number of new features including high velocity guns. They were probably the first fast battleships that came to dominate capital ship designed by the late 1930s and onward. Latero was put out of action for six months by the famous Toronto Air Raid or Tarantino Air Raid. Vittoro Vintio was damaged by an air launch torpedo at the Battle of Cape Mepan and again later by submarine launch torpedo. She was also damaged by bombs along with the Roma in an air raid in 1943. At the time, Roma and Latero um, meaning Italia were hit by were hit by German glide bombs. Roma sank Interior was never finished. Or Imperio was never finished and did not see worse service. I mean that's still good enough. They didn't sink like the other ones did. I mean if they had the same same flaw, which is everyone targeted it. Hang on. Meanwhile. Where's your box? Where's your box? Class battleship. Six, six flank speed, six armor, 
light hole, light hole though, a 90 hull, 30, a 90 by 30 hull, Hackcraft 3 armored deck, uh, star shell to, to, uh, torpedo built two, 11 point blank, okay, 11 point blank and 46 extreme range, AP2, oh jeez. It could do, it could, it could reach out and touch the supers. And then speed to get in trouble. That's actually getting out of trouble. That's nice too. That's been, that's been, and that, we haven't really looked at the actual hull, what we'd be playing with. Yeah, look at that detail. Four cruiser type guns. Little seam right there. Do all these bases though. Need a bit of cleaning. Oh, so wait. All right, so it's smaller than Missouri, which is to be expected, but still pretty big. Yeah, it's it's 10 feet. It should be 10 feet shorter than you and you, which it is. Or 10 feet, 100 feet. There's a big difference between those two. This face bent, 56,000 tons, six, uh, 30 knots, crew, 2,000, uh, crew. Uh, that's not getting light out of this. Now look, yeah, that's better. It's more diffuse. Um, crew 2000, uh, year uh, commissioned year 1937. Crew Latero, Roma, our uh, shipping, ships in class. We already read that. Okay, we already read that. Latero, uh, Vimo Meta, Roma, Ad Radar, yes, yes. All right, next up. Oh, geez, that, that'd be actually be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad with down there. <sighs> kind of, I kind of not, not regretting not making the carrier separate, having all these other ship be one video. But I don't should see the size difference. Ah, uh, just taking another break. Whoops. Things are falling. Things are falling. Yeah, I mean, we're actually reaching another time limit, so, huh? Take a break, take a break, take, take, take a break, or not just take a break. Um, yeah, let's just take a break for real quick. Be right back. All right, back. Now, let's do you last. I decide I have, I have made a decision. Let's do my favorite one last. And now, let's do the interesting ones. Let's do, okay, well, these two are interesting. Then we'll do Yamato, then we'll, then we'll wrap things up. Okay. Huh. Oh, should we do them in size? Like, I'm not already already in size. Well, these guys aren't in size. Yeah, let's do the battleships in size. Montana. Montana. Okay, I, I can't believe that the Plan Z is the smallest carrier here. And yet it's <laughs> technically one of the newest. Actually, yeah, these, these would be two guns, but they'd be big guns. Actually, you're smaller than that. Man, the Germans can't build ships for junk. Except the flying kind. They can only build the flying kind for some reason. I 
There you go. Now they're all in order. And I'll have a nice above ground one too. Maybe with the macro lens. Okay, but anyway, what do we do to Yamato now that we freshly made the size kit charts? Yeah, let's do Yamato. No, 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 let's, let's say that for last. Yamato's for last. There you go, biggest and smallest. Because they're a pack of bucket battleships. Yeah, the, uh, ow, the, the, mm, mm. the, um, Victory at Sea also has the Alaska class, and the Alaska class is actually a pocket battleship, or it's a gigantic cruiser, which it's America, it's probably just a gigantic cruiser. By the way, be a smart, be a smart in the trapeze. Be a be. Let's figure this out real quick. Hold on, come to me. Bismarck? Uh, can you see that? Yeah, Bismarck. Turpit, oh, wrong side. Turpits. I got these both. I got these both. I got both of them. Let's see if there's much of a difference. I don't think there will be, but uh, we got two German battleships. What? 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 What's bad about that? Turpits. Both 1,800s size. Very similar, very similar, very similar. This one has more, sh one has more shadows than the other. And there's a gun's turn. Now we're gonna do the old, the old angles. The bay is small class. The Expert class was heavily armed and armored. The Nephesis battleship Bismar became legendary in the Battle of, Den of Denmark Strait. Bismarck sank the famous is, um, HMS Hood. Winston Churchill then ordered Bismarck to be sunk at any cost. The Royal Navy had no intention of letting her live. She finally cornered after her rush stopped any chances of flight. The Bismarck was finally sunk. Compared to Turpits, which lasted for a longer time, but it lasted basically as just a living "come fight me" um, thing in in, or, in Norway. And I mean, it guns attribute to some things, I guess, but still. But just in general, Germans don't want to use battleships or any ships that are on the surface, only in the sky for some reason. That's weird. The Turpits, despite yeah, they're fine. Despite spending much over the war in port, the Turpits tie down several LA battleships that were needed elsewhere simply by being a threat that she might sh uh, shorty. Or set sail. Shorty, I think, I, I, to me, to me, shorty, shorty's for planes. Not, not that there's the difference. The, uh, the allies cannot ri risk such a mighty vessel getting loose among their convoys and now get sufficient forces to destroy her, even if she currently wasn't active, which is why you build a gigantic battleship. <laughs> and I wonder the reason why you build a gigantic battleship, because in order to counter a gigantic battleship, you need to actually counter the gigantic battleship with more stuff than it's worth. It's just forgotten that those turpits, unlike Yamato, which Yamato just got punked on, um, turpits actually didn't lose until until they used cheat until they used cheat codes to import weapons from other games and just you know sunk her that way. You know they were using land-based weapons against the they were using Booker Busters against the battleship just to make sure she did, 
And even then, that was hard to do, and wasn't guaranteed. It wasn't guaranteed uh, success either. So yes, battleship for the win. If it was a carrier, you can get. If it, if they built a Plan Z instead of if they were building, um, if they built a Graf Salp instead of the instead of battleships, well, um, they wouldn't have been able to build it because of the plane problem. But still. Where she landed on the punished battleship shot. Simply guide. That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. That's Bismarck. Big smart turpets. One of the most renowned classes of ships to be launched. The Bismarck and turpets became legendary. Though the, though the Deutschland and the fourth hall were never completed. The Bismarck sank the HMS Hood in the middle of the North Atlantic, causing Winston Churchill to sink at any cost. The Royal Navy set sail at, uh, with no intention of letting her live until she was finally cornered in Asus. Bismarck was sunk by combined fire from King George V and Rodney. The Tirpitz, now Germany's most powerful battle warship, was sent to was to spend the war in port, where she was the target of increasingly obs obsessive attacks by the British, including runs of the submarine she finally sank by Lanchester bombs dro dropping tallboy bombs, which were among some of the first bunker, which was some, which were among some of the first uh, bunker busters. There's her card, and they're gigantic bombs. They take up the entire. They take up the entire bomb bay of the Lancaster, plus some of the outside, and they were used to destroy bunkers, deep bunkers. To use that as a ship, well, it, it had to be docked pretty much, which they ensured that would be a thing after you know trying to keep sinker five thousand times during the war. Oh, thanks. Miggy? Whoops, that, that's darkness. Thanks, Miggy. The bear's mark. The beige, oh wait, we're not, not ready for that yet. We gotta look at the model. Now well, we, we got a bonus. We got extra, we got extra working present. Now look at this, look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense. Actually, this is the working resin kit. Why is it in a separate box? But we're gonna miss. Oh, you're big, you're big, you're big. Very Germanic and good battleships. Jork. <laughs> Comes back again. Excuse me. Don't shoot a box key. Thanks. Thanks, Morgan. Four, count four. One, two, three, four. Are these double turrets? 
same as the H series. And then some gubbins. Oh, that's why because they need the secondary guns metal, okay. And and the super and the superstructure. Which we'll get to the ship in a second. Just a little flash right here. Bam. We're good. With, okay, well, let's see the correct direction. Bismarck Battleship. And one of the one of the better one of the ones that don't need as much cleaning against boost battles, which is probably good for moving them across water without without picking them up. Pretty nice. Where do you scale? Why don't we structure that? Why don't we structure that you don't put damage? Is interesting. Where do you scale? Actually, you're smaller than Iowa. Smaller than an Iowa, bigger than an H class. Are you bigger than an H class? Question mark. Oh, you're. Oh, you're lighter, risen. You are smaller than H class. Is <laughs> that's probably obvious. Yeah, you're way smaller than H class, which is way smaller than a Iowa. Put my back there. Now, uh, we're gonna compare. We're gonna compare stats in a second. Actually, no. Let's just read off Bismarck stats. Oh, it's also like the Italian. Uh, six flank speed, six six inches of speed. Six um, plus six, uh, six plus armor, six plus whip, way more hull, aircraft four armor deck, radar to be the belt. Has less gun range, interestingly enough, than the Italians. Probably, and it's the same penetration, interesting. Okay, a hundred feet, which let's look at an Iowa, 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 why is it all, why is it all not, not, why is it all not, not, Iowa, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a bit shorter than Iowa, it's roughly, oh, come on, come on now, I was on the right, it's roughly 60 feet less than, uh, uh, less than Iowa. I don't think I should add to the video style size comparisons. That's one of the major things we're doing. We're doing today. Yeah, 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 something like that. And then it's just around 60 feet longer than than the Italian. <laughs> 30 knots, that's really fast. Crew 2000, Commission 1940. One of most uh, ship classes, or ships in class, Bismarck Turpets. One of the most renowned, uh, yes, yes. Right there already. It gets better gun, it gets better AA guns. It gets torpedoes 1941. The Turpets gets torpedoes 1941. Ooh, I'm building two Turpets. <laughs> Ooh, 
And look, these are different colors. Inconsistencies. Incons that's the first different color one. Inconsistencies. Let's get turpits out. We're running out of book. We need more book. Yeah, I have a feeling that I have a feeling they go by factions, the Packers do. Morgan? Morgan did a lot of this work. I can tell you, I can tell you that right now. So thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. Eh. Two fuckies. You go here. You know, the drill. The simply guy, but simpler doesn't have those secondary the secondary guns. Oh, and they are different. Look at that. Secondary guns are part of this are part of the are part of the base. Interesting. Are part of the hull. They actually share a description. Not, 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 not the thing. They share a description. Look at that. They share a description. Actually, before we put, before we do anything. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Yeah, let's do, let's do it this way. Uh, this marks on the right, if you can tell. It'll be more obvious once we actually look at the thing. I mean, I'm starting to get why when I was playing the Alabama in, in World Warships, why a Yamato didn't look that big to me. And then my shells were going clean through it, which also didn't tip me off to it was a Yamato. Uh, whoops. Because all the ships, if you go by length, uh, length alone, if you go by length alone, they all look very similar. Very, very similar. Okay, there we go. Let's put the ship out. Bismarck class battleship. Gotta be careful. Oh, whoops. There we go. Give me that. Give me give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I said give me that. Eee. Oops, don't do that. We have different bases yet. Different lengths. Interesting. Mmm, looking at them. Ah, uh, yeah, the turpits has the guns attached. And has round balls up here. Um... It's flash, ignore that. Is that flash? Yes, it is, ignore that. So yeah, you can tell, they are different. They are different. They are actually different, my word. In tone of, in tone of gray too, interesting. There are any different stats. Oh wait, wait, no, we're not done, not done. I'll bring them both up in a sec. Thanks, Alice. Hey, you're not you're not Morgan. I'm the Morgan. Excuse me. Make sure I don't get any metal bits on the floor. That'd be bad. Nope, metal book on the floor. Oh well. 
suggest. Actually, yeah, the ones for Bismarck, probably not. Guns, a bit too late now. Guns, for sure. No, oh, I think I did. I should probably show you anyway, just in case. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember talking about it, but I don't think I showed you. Uh, let's show you the whole difference. Oh, it's in there. It, it, oh, that, the reason why I didn't show it because it was on the bottom of the box. My bad. Morgan, let's fix again. Oops, there goes the metal thing. Ah, uh, metal flash. Ah, that's not gonna be good. Four big guns, little crew, and tons of little. I know I did show you this. I did show you this. Yeah, that's a major difference. And they really, they were at least similar enough to each other. I, I think. I think. Not, not the real ships. These. Um, the Bismarck interprets the thing released on the same run. They released on the same. Uh, released on the same in the same wave, so I. So yeah, they actually want to make them different. I I I, I assumed, and hence why I bought it because I knew assuming assuming's a bad thing, kids. To assume is a bad thing. Um, to assume and not check is a bad thing. But the serpents and the Bismarck. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Are actually different. Same length, same most, uh, most of their hull is the same, except you notice these little things, like you got these little round bits are not on the turpit, they're not on the, they're not on the, um, uh, turpits, or oh, vice versa, the round things that are not on the Bismarck, um, the front, this, this superstructure is the same, you notice the turrets are different. The big guns are in place here. Uh, the cruiser size guns are in place over on here. That's very interesting. Those are the major things I spot. You may spot more. You may want to buy them to see if you can see if you. You might want to buy them to see. But anyway. Alright, <laughs> home stretch. Home stretch. Uh, be right back. Now it's time for the final run. I, I wonder how I'll be splitting up this video now. Here's the free sample, by the way. The last bit of the last bit of the uh, XP games. Very basic. Very very basic. And it's supposed to be. Oh, actually, it's a cruiser. What in the world are you supposed to be? But very basic, you go right there. Next up, let's do Yamato. Actually, next up, um, hence why I can't really split these into parts. I like the Bismarck and the Bismarck and the Turpis sheets are also that odd color. Oh no, they're different. The Bismarck is no, uh, it's no, the Bismarck's weird. The Bismarck is the Bismarck is weird. Are they the same sheet? No way! Do they do they do? They did do that. They did totally do that. Because they're sister ships, they did that. They totally did that. My way, I didn't notice that before. Okay, that that that's a comparison. They're fast. They're armor. They don't have as much health as other ships. I haven't been looking at points at all, though. 
but I'll be looking at them when uh, uh, when Battle Scribe updates. Look forward to that video. But uh, like you can see the points. All right, let's put the carriers on the blue because they're so small. I mean, they're so few. They're actually big. There's just a few of them. How about the stars? There we go. Yeah, model time? No, no. Mmm. for last year, model for last. No, let's go small big. Let's go small the Gasbury, Emerald Gasbury, and Emerald Cheer. Cheer. All right. I think I'm going to be pouring these flights as by points, especially since there are only so many good ships, including the ones that you need to make cards for. Oops, I don't want to show that yet. No, it's almost flat, even though I'm curving it. All right. Emery, Emerald, well, let's just go on the back pocket battleships. The Deutschland class battleships were relatively small, but battleship standards, by battleship standards, they were well armed and carried a set of armor traditionally seen only on battleships. Sorry, gas. That this led them to being nicknamed Packet Battleships, superb Hamans Raiders, the Emerald Shear, successfully piled the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, dispersing, uh, disrupting merchant shipping wherever it went. One was that Emerald Gaspi was seamlessly cornered during the Battle of River Plate and scuttled herself soon after. Which I got have done this with. The actual battleships, but I didn't. Interesting. Interesting. Probably because they're both actually full size ships and these are smaller ones. But then again, uh, I mean, I guess because they're technically a capital ship together, there are people who use them as, uh, people like to think of them as capital ships because they serve separately from everything else. Um, uh, one of them's outside of the thing. One of them's outside of the thing. You go here. Oh. Oh. Box. Thing. Box. So keep that there. What happens if I do this? Eh. Okay, it's right there. Weird, 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 weird. Like they had an extra big bag, but they didn't want to put the other thing in it. There you go. There you go. One single assembly guide. Well, it has all of that. Okay. Oh, no history in the back. Interesting. Ah, okay, you can be careful when you're building them, because this has little bits. This has a hat. This has a hat. And if I keep that around. Okay, that fell. I can find it. Don't worry. Uh. Now, these are my favorite German ships of all time. Not like there's many others. <laughs> I guess including airships, including airships. I like, I like my pocket battleships. Actually, actually, these are some of my favorite ships of World War II, to be honest. Because they're so scrappy and so overpowered for what they are. Up in there. Oh. Hmm. 
careful when putting it back because it's not exactly there. Not exactly good. All right. Montana's gonna be the biggest, let's just say. Let's, like, let's just say that now. Unless the Yamato is biggest, but then again, the Yamato's in the box. The, look at this. They're just on top of each other. They are very different. My word, they're almost as big as South Dakota. Thank you, Kay. Oh, 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 I'm not gonna swallow it for you, but. But I know who packed this one. You probably know it too by the fact that I'm spoiling it. I mean, we, we have two repeating names. The guy who writes his name and, the, and Morgan. It was Morgan. Um, very careful lifting it by the extra excess. Two guns, little bits, which means you're one of the other. Two, uh, two guns and a hat. The hat. Put these back. Uh, I can't wait to actually start building them. Because only battle tech where they're just yeah, they're there. These guys are only half of them. I think that all taking wool tanks like these guys only half of themselves. Okay. Go, go, go. Uh, it's stuck in the holes. Who's who? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> and Mel Spear is the one with the little bits. Get some shadows, I can tell the detail, really nice. Get in the flash. Get in the flash, come with me, come with me, don't come with me. Come with me, there we go. Emerald gas spear. Yeah, I got the hat. Tapitos back here. Yeah, they're definitely on my team. They're both Deutschland class, so are we going to see the exact same stats? Yes, six, three, oh, they, oh, if they take a hit, they die. If they take it from all the rest, they die. 32, 10 health, aircraft two radar. They got pretty good range on our guns though, and they're, fa and they're fast. So if they're, co so if they're covered by the town, again, town probably going on 19. Well, that's actually not bad, and they're half the points of their, uh, half the points of the German battleships. Which means equal to one. Interesting. Yamato time! Yamato time, Yamato time, Yamato time! Let's see how big you are. Oh, you're heavy! I can actually tell you have some weight to you. Got some weight to you. Again, it looks flat. Yamato. The Yamato is the largest and most powerful, most powerfully armed battleships ever built. 
and her 18 inch guns could outrange anything in the Allied arsenal, except for the Montana. <laughs> It was the hope of the Imperial Japanese Navy that this will allow them to counter at light numbers. However, it seemed to King Player battleships from a rule in every combat had eroded, and the Yamato eventually sunk during suicide around Okinawa. There's a lot of politics as to what as to what happened to the Yamato. A lot of it comes down to the Japanese Navy not wanting to support the um, Japanese army with the Yamato, not wanting to waste her. Except like keeping your power weapon to the very end of the game, like keeping your power weapon ammo or your best potions. To the end of the game, you wasted her by not using them, and that's to make and that's to make it light. That's but that's to go light on the issue. Oh, you're big! Look at these. You have to be packed that way. Uh, that's clever. You might be the biggest. The Montana. Oh, you're probably you're going to be the heaviest in physical plan in physical risen, uh, but I think the Montana is still going to be larger. You're going to find out though. And you might be wondering, and, and people have always wondered why why they bothered building a Yamato when they could have had a lot of other ships. It's because they only so many shipyards and materials. Uh, well, I mean, I guess the materials could have built, could have, while well, we're here, bam. Bam and bam, uh, while well, we're here. It, it. Yamato's pieces, Yamato's a lot of pieces. Um, they could have built, as you can see, and well, we're, we're going to find out in a second, I might as well carry that on once we actually see the ship, but the reason why the Japanese decided to build a Yamato is because they had so many shipyards and only so much supplies. Um, if they had more shipyards, then they probably would have been better off building more carriers and building smaller artillery ships, but they didn't, so they only could produce one other ship during the war, or only a certain number of ships during the war, and they, and they wanted to build a couple battle cruisers, a carrier, and then Yamato. Or at least I think that's how that worked. By a large margin, the Yamato and not Missouri, Yuhashi were the largest battleships ever built and were the product of advancing Japanese technology. They were twice the replacement of most American battleships, and their 18 inch guns could outrange anything in the Allied arsenal. It was hoped by the Imperial Japanese Navy that such characteristics would allow them to circumvent the Allies' numerical superiority. However, when the war came, it became clear that submarine and, in particular, aircraft that eroded battleships were on the wor in the world. The, the Musua was lost during the Battle of Leyte Gulf, during which these two ships form core of the Imperial Japanese, uh, Japanese fleets. Well, something like that. <laughs> While Yamato was was later sunk by 10 torpedoes and 28 bombs during a suicide run to Okinawa. The third ship, the uh, Shinano, Shinano, I won't say it like that. Oh, I am saying that like that because I'm, that's how I could say it. Was completed as an aircraft carrier and the largest in the world at the time, rather than a battleship was sunk by a US submarine during its maiden voyage. Oh, I want that. 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 <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to see if XP Games has that. Oh, man, if only I had known about that earlier. If only I had known about that before this video, then it could be in this video, but oh well. Yamato. It's slow. It's the most armor of any ship in the game, except probably Mo Montana. It has an absurd hull of it has the most tall of any ship in the game, it's most expensive. Uh, and uh, aircraft seven, armored deck, speed of belt three. Um, it, I think it may have three inches on everyone else, or it's exactly the same as the exactly the same as the longest range ships in the game. Except they do dam they do three damage, they do AD three, pin two, uh, four DD. Straight's heavy. Point blank, 11 inches. Oh, that's huge. Eight hundred sixty-three feet. Displacement, 72,000 tons. Uh, um, well, 73,000 tons almost. Flank speed, 27. That's fast for what it is. Crew, 2,500. Commission, 1941. Okay. Time to unlock the beast. No, it's happening on camera. Oh, it's wrapped up too. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, there you go. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. 
Wait, well, yeah, especially towards the end. He only carries three turrets, though. <laughs> Mr. Montana over there carries a lot more, but Montana is a lot thinner. There you go. The battle for Yamato is here. Yamato class battleship. Yamato 1941. What's the game? What's the game as the war continues? 1945, Yamato and Crusade battery. Where do you list on the list of lists? That's the fancy. Here's Iowa. I know you're bigger than Iowa. But are you bigger than Montana? Uh, your base is wide, though. Well, let's bring you two together. The spirit battleship that was built to the spirit battleship that wasn't. Oh, it's so much thinner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Montana's bigger. Montana is bigger. Oh, my word. Goes off the screen. Montana is bigger. It gu its guns are a bit smaller. It's thinner. But it's bigger. Uh, careful now. Good thing you don't have a base. Good thing you don't have a base. Oh, there you go. Oh, my word. <laughs> um, by the way, there are two table sizes for this. Yeah. And like I said, be careful. Yamato actually isn't that much longer than Iowa. Look at your TV. Actually, Iowa's nose, Iowa has a nose on her, but that, but, but that's for the extra three speed. <laughs> no, it's just Yam, it's just Yamato, it's just uh, Yama, uh, Yam, Yamato. Yam Yamato. I, I, there are like five different names that are so similar in Japanese. Um, that word Hussle. Iowa class on the left. Yeah, Iowa class is a bit longer. It has to be longer. Almost not battery though. But it is, it is center. The American battleships are meant for speed. Yamato is meant for displacement. The magical word. All right. Ah, goodness me, goodness me, goodness me. Oh, we didn't look at her guns yet. No, oh, no, that's the weight. Their guns are the weight. Oh, here comes the high running dude. They're good at. Actually, no, different person. For you, I think. I don't know how to read sign language or <laughs> sign language. Sign, sign language signatures. Cursive. Cursive is the thing I was looking for. Oh, so, 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 so beefy. The big guns. When you want the big guns. These are the biggest guns in the game. Montana's didn't have this big guns. They, had, they just had more. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. And they, even the little guns and some Ghibli's. I guess saying Yamato is the biggest still counts because Yamato is by far the weightiest. I don't think I don't think Montana is going to be more weighty than Yamato. You know, Yamato is actually shorter than uh, is actually shorter than Iowa. But like people have said, mo uh, recent like like most recent, uh, like in most like most two modern historians. It, it has really come down to if an Iowa class were to file up against y uh, a, a Yamato, well, um, yeah, it, it would depend on weather conditions, and it would depend on weather conditions. If, you know, if everything was equal, 
and then decisive and two and the, uh, and an Iowa and an Iowa and Yamato class dueled, it would be uh, it would not it would not well, the major um wait a second the deciding difference is weather conditions if it's a perfect clear day like what you want if you want to go to the beach then. Yamato wins because all you know all Yamato has to do is land a hit and I was out of the action. However, or, or land maybe a few hits, um, fewer hits than what the Iowa has to land on Yamato. However, 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 in any other circumstance, if it's night, if it's raining, if it's rough seas, what have you, and I would win, hands down. Because the Iowa can let, unless Yamato was lucky. Which, during World War II, the Japanese weren't very lucky. <laughs> Probably because of all the trustees they were committing. But anyway, like they were chain, like they, they were smoking atrocities like, like cigarettes. <laughs> like, they go chain smokers smoke cigarettes. Um, but anyway, it, it was, uh, it, you know, it was a mess, but yeah. So actually, let's see what, who is longer. By their account, by, um, by Will Lord's account. Oh, just for reference, Bismarck is just under half as expensive as Yamato. Deutschland is a quarter as expensive as Yamato. Yorktown is a quarter as expensive as Yamato. Iowa is almost as expensive as Yamato off by 200 points, so we're going to have an Iowa <laughs> at, that, at that difference. Um, Italian battleship, for lack of a better word, is just over half the cost of Yamato, and Iowa is just under it. Iowa doesn't have, its, doesn't have the range, though. Iowa will have to get in range, but I can easily get in range. And Iowa... I, where in the world did I put? Where in the world did I put? <sighs> Your town. Do, 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 do. And there's Iowa. Yamato. Yeah, Iowa is actually uh, significantly longer, and you know this term. Uh, Yamato is <sighs> Yamato. Is... Oh, here, let's fix this. Go. Yamato is as you can. Oh, actually, only twenty feet. They're within twenty feet of each other. We're within thirty feet of each other. I'm. I'm sorry. However, Yamato's um, uh, Yamato is um, uh, is a third, uh, or Yamato is 20,000 20, tons heavier, or thirty thousand tons, just another thirty thousand tons heavier. I was fast, thirty to twenty six. I was more crew to lose. It, I don't think crew matters in this game. There a nonsense. It's nonsense. But yeah. And then you got the real book. Which, uh, I'll be right back. No, we're up. I'll be right back. Let's be safe. All right. I think I might need to do the real book another No, I'm not going to be able to do it in the real book another day. But yeah, then the real book's nice. Uh, nicely laid out. Um, really thick. My grandpa read it. I, I barely read it. Uh, because it's separate. I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to unbox it like I had been, like I'd been opening wrappers and such. So, like, like you didn't know, I did. You, you didn't know until I told you that I didn't just get this, and I've actually been reading it. So there, there's that. But the rule book's really nice, and it's like forty dollars. So yeah. Which, by the way, everything is everything you see here is around thirty. So thirty, every all the first parties around thirty or forty. Well, they're in between twenty, maybe they're twenty something, thirty something, or forty something. The book is forty something. The big, the big boys are. Big boys are 30-something. The little boys are 20-something. 
Um, the third parties uh, range between nine dollars and fifteen, based on if based on puny little baby baby battleship to big 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 daddy battleship. And yeah, well, let's just put you right here for why not. Make sure let's put you let's put you lengthwise to the big boys. So yeah, is it worth it? Yes, 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 yes. Really nice models. They seem in balance with each other. So you can have an entire game of capital ships. It's just you need a large map where it's chaos. If you like chaos, like battlefield, close quarter combat maps, then you do you. Uh, uh, it'd be hard to maneuver though. So you need you need to add a rule that if you go off the map, you just come back on another side or something. Um, Mika, oh, you bounce off the side like in little warships. Um, or, or, or flying game. So, yeah. But, yeah, again, very, very worth it. Um, and I very once I'm talking, I will be showing you a picture of uh, a picture of what it looks like in macro in good old prime macro zoom lens vision. And, yeah. Oh, actually, let's do it like this. There we go. Oh, all right, actually, maximum. All right, that'd be our first video. Thanks for watching. Do be sure to watch on this video. It means a lot to me. It also means a lot to me. If you were check out the rest of the, rest of the stuff on your screen, it means a lot to me. Well, I mean, the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as such as various ways for channel, which of course fits various sports channels by watching the videos, teaching the content that we produce, and by sharing friends, family, and listen, and we'll listen to you. This may have had to be cut up into multiple parts. If it, if it is, you know, if it isn't, Thank you for watching the entire video, skipping through it. And thank you for watching for this part. That was very kind of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. All right. And I guess no rule book. Rule book another day. Rule book another day. I'll be reading it nonetheless now. But yeah. Oh! All right. That'll be our first video. Thanks for watching. Also, this way, sports channel for watching the videos, gauge of the we produce. Of course, this way, uh, of course. Uh, and ship by train friends and we'll sit you. All right, that'd be it for sale. Thanks for watching. And I guess, picture! And I guess, see you in a second.